Hi friends, so in this video I'm going to talk about stickers and how we can create sticker sheets. And to be exact, I will show you how we can create something similar to this one here. And if you go on to Etsy and you type in planner stickers, you will see that there are many different kinds of stickers you can create. You can create decorative stickers, ones that look like this one here. You can create uh, stickers for iPads which I will explain in a different video how to do. Or you can also create functional stickers like date stickers, like these ones here, um, or cash stickers, which are functional as well. There also are weather stickers and other kinds of stickers. So you see that you can create different kinds of stickers. And usually sticker sheets are smaller in size. So for example, if we check out this first listing here, um, if I open it up and if I check out the sizing, it says 105 times 148 millimeters, which is the A6 size. And the reason why the sticker sheets usually come in smaller sizes is so uh, you can add them into your planner. So if you target the planner community or people who use stickers for planning, you probably want to make the sticker sheet smaller so they can fit into the planner and you or the customers can carry them around. So what I recommend you is if you make sticker sheets that are more decorative or that look like these ones here, is to create them smaller. For example, you can use the A5 size or the A6 size as a template. And then when you print them out and cut them out, you can insert them into your planner and carry them around with you. Of course, you can also make bigger sticker sheets on US letter size. And you also find those on Etsy. So for example, here is a listing. This one's for the Happy Planner. And all the stickers here on are 1.5 inches wide. So if you create sticker sheets for the Happy Planner or for the Erin Condren, where the stickers are 1.5 inches wide, you want to create them on US letter size so you can print out a bunch at a time. And for those who don't know what Happy Planner or Erin Condren is, I will quickly show you. So uh, the Happy Planner looks like this. It's a bigger size. It's almost as big as the US letter size. They come in different sizes, but generally they are bigger. And the column in a happy planner are 1.5 inches wide. And there are a few sellers who do offer stickers that perfectly fit into Erin Condren or happy planner. And I will also make a different video on how you can create sticker sheets like these ones here, but this will be in a different video. So in this video, I will show you how you can create the smaller sticker sheets like these ones here for decorative purposes. So let's start. Let's go to Planify Pro and then let's click to create a new planner. Create a new planner. And then let's go to sizing. And then first of all, select the size you want to work on. Now, like I mentioned before, usually sticker sheets are smaller in size, so they fit into smaller planners. And I would recommend you to maybe select the A5 or A6 size. Um, in this video, I will be selecting the A5 size. And then next, to have a blank background, you want to go to Layout, and then you want to go to Adjust Layout, and then click on the boxes, then click on the minus to remove the columns like this. Same for the right sides, click on the right side, and then remove the boxes. Now that you have an empty sheet, you can also choose to only show the left page to start your sticker sheet. Next, go to stickers to open the sticker collections. So we have many different kinds of sticker collections. For example, we have the work collection or we also have, for example, the spring collection with lots of florals. So we already imported the stickers for you, so you can use them all commercially to create your sticker sheets. And for example, in this video, let's create one work related. Um, let's use this one here, work. And then next, simply just click on the stickers. For example, here on the elements, click on the stickers, drag them around, 
place them anywhere on the sheet. Have enough space between the stickers so it's easier to cut them out. So this is how my sticker sheet looks like right now. And you see that uh, you can just randomly place the objects anywhere on the sheet and then just make sure they are spaced out evenly like this. And then you can also go to widgets. So next to the sticker tab there are widgets and then click on custom text widget. And you can place it up here and then type in something new, for example, give it a name, work stickers or work sticker sheet like this or you can give it any any kind of name and then if you click here on this AA icon you can also change the font so maybe select a different font for example this one here and you can make them bold or thin like this and then you can also if you want to um, change the color of the text, but I'll keep it black like this. Then you can also make it bigger or smaller, the font. And there you go. So this would be your first sticker sheet. Then don't forget that there also is the right side, like there still is the right side. And if you want to, you can also copy paste this left sticker sheet to the right side by clicking on L to R. So now you have two sticker sheets which can be printed out at once. So next let's check out how to export this sticker sheet. As you see this sticker sheet is in the A5 size and in order to export it double sided um, the A4 size will have to be selected. So two A5 pages next to each other are the same as the A4 size and that's why if you have an A5 size and you select to export it to be printed on A4 paper, it will be able to export you a double page. Like you see here. However, if you're working on the A5 size but you select the US letter size, it will export you single pages because the US letter size isn't big enough to fit uh, two sets of A5 pages next to each other. So here you see, this is how it will look like if you have an A5 size sticker sheet, but if you export it to be printed on US letter size. If you are a seller and you are selling this uh, as a printable to your customers and you want them to be able to print it double sided on A4 and US letter size, what I would recommend you to do is maybe not to select the A5 size, but rather select for example the personal white size. And the personal white size is a tiny bit smaller than the A5 size. Like you see here it's about 20% smaller than the A5 size and this size for example can be exported as a double page both on the A4 or the US letter size. So if you're a seller and you're selling it I recommend you to maybe choose the personal white size when creating sticker sheets like these ones here so you will have less issues when printing out uh, the sticker sheets or your customers will have less issues when printing out the sticker sheets. So let's say um, you resized it and you have the personal white size as a sticker sheet. What you can do next is click either on A4 or US letter size, it doesn't matter. And then click on generate PDF. And then it will export you the sticker sheet and it will look like this. This is how it looks like. And you see that it always appends a second blank page. And this is still an issue we still need to fix. But for now, what I recommend you to do is download this PDF file. And once you've downloaded, simply open up the PDF file and manually delete this second blank page. And then the file you will be printing out or the file you will be selling will be this first page here. So that was how to create decorative sticker sheets. And if you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook. And I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye.